identify the points at which the curve is not smooth. Let's go ahead and work this out. So what does it mean for a curve to be smooth in this context? It basically means that the derivative of x with respect to theta and the derivative of y with respect to theta are continuous on i, where i is uh, some interval which, which is usually supposed to be given, and not both 0, except possibly at the endpoints. So except possibly at the endpoints of i. So i is not given in this problem, so we can assume that i is equal to the set of real numbers, so negative infinity to infinity. Uh, so this business here about the endpoints is pretty irrelevant, at least in this problem. Um, so all we have to be concerned with is that the derivatives are not both zero. So we're looking for where it's not smooth. So what we'll do is we'll take the derivatives and we'll set them both equal to zero and we'll solve both of those equations. So before we take the derivatives, let's distribute this two here. So we get two theta minus two sine theta. And here we get two minus two cosine theta. Now let's go ahead and take the derivative. So dx d theta, that's going to be 2 minus 2 cosine theta because the derivative of sine is cosine. And dy d theta, well, the derivative of 2 is 0. And the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So we'll get negative 2 times negative sine theta. So this is 2 sine theta. Okay, again, what does it mean to be smooth? It means that the derivatives are continuous and they're not both zero. In this case, the derivatives are continuous, so we want to find out where it's not smooth, so we're going to set both of them equal to zero. So the first equation can be written as follows. Uh, cosine theta equals one. How did I do that? Um, subtract the two and divide by negative two. If you subtract the two, you get negative 2 cosine theta equals negative 2, and then you divide by negative 2. And the second equation gives us sine theta equals 0. Just divide both sides by the 2. So we want to find out when this is true. When is cosine theta equal to 1 and sine theta equal to 0? So if you think of the unit circle, that corresponds to the point 1, 0. Remember, on the unit circle, the x-coordinate is cosine and the y-coordinate is sine. So it looks like it happens here, and that angle would be the angle 0. It will also be the angle 2 pi, or negative 2 pi, or even 4 pi, and negative 4 pi, etc. It looks like any even multiple of pi. So x equals 2k pi will satisfy that, and here k is an integer. And that's the final answer. So again, if you're given a problem like this and you're asked where it's not smooth, just take the derivatives, set them equal to zero, and solve the system of equations. And that's it. I hope this helps.